Hi guys, Jericho Reviews here and welcome to yet another B&M 2019 review. This time we're going to be taking a look at the 7th Doctor and Axis Strike Squad Dalek, try saying that 10 times faster than being drunk, the 7th Doctor being from the TV movie and the Dalek being from Gallifrey Series 6. The packaging for this set is pretty much the same as the 8th Doctor set that I previously reviewed. The banner of the packaging has been updated to feature the 7th Doctor as seen in his intro. The right side features images of the figs inside, and the left side features artwork from the gorgeous cover of Gallifrey 6, my absolute favourite box art of this year. The back of the box features the artwork of Gallifrey 6 once more, and the synopsis of the set, along with adding some really interesting lore about the 7th Doctor, talking about him becoming an ancient of the Time Lords, and referencing such stories as Doom Coalition 1, and of course, the movie. Similar to how they've done the 8th Doctor, the 7th Doctor is put together just using what is easiest and available, this being a straight up repaint of the standard 7th Doctor. And this one really is one of my favourite figures of the whole range. His face is painted very crisp and clean, the paint is a tad thicker compared to previous 7th Doctor figures, but you can see all those wrinkles and creases. His hair has been given a grey wash to highlight that yes, this is an old 7th Doctor, which works really nicely. His milk chocolate coloured jacket is accurately demonstrated, giving this figure an immediately different feel to any other 7th Doctor we already have. I'm so glad that they used the original jacket as the red scarf really accents this figure, almost adding a border around the midsection, topped off by the gold chain and red hanky. Silver in the film just had a standard tweed, but I've always loved when customisers keep the original jacket and do these paint apps. It adds a lot of personality and I'm really glad it's been done here. They've even gone to the effort of painting the buttons on his cuffs and back, which is a really nice detail that really helps set the figure off. Gone are the question marks on his jumper, these being replaced by a gorgeous dark red. Obviously he had a waistcoat in the movie, but this works just as well. The Big Finish exclusive version uses a darker red only on the jumper, and I just don't really think that works. I much prefer the unity of the colours on the standard version. His tie is brown with little black squiggles which are present in the movie. Everybody usually assumes it's a black tie, but those squiggles are in fact there, just the shots are just really dark. The trousers have been rather confusing this year. We were meant to get a more accurate movie trousers on this standard version, then being more a green with smaller squares. They're even on the box, but it seems character got cold feet and just decided to use these larger checkered squares with blues and beige. And I really love it. It gives the figure a more comic strip style. It looks bold and colourful. For me, it makes the figure stand out and that makes it really special. His shoes are painted black and quite frankly I have no idea what they are on the film. Sometimes you get a hint of brown but he's mostly in the shadows so it's really hard to tell. Sometimes you think they're leather and sometimes you think they're a bit of suede. Honestly I just have no idea. Overall I just love this Seventh Doctor. It might be my favourite Seventh Doctor figure I have. Yeah it's not accurate to the film but it can just be seen as an in-between looks variant or even something akin to the DWM strips as they did indeed get rid of the question marks and keep the scarf with the brown jacket. And now the Axis Strike Squad Dalek. In my opinion, the best looking Dalek of the entire range and quite frankly one of the best Daleks I own in my collection. I've always been fascinated by this Dalek ever since Gallifrey 6 was released in 2013. For whatever reason, Big Finish felt that this story required new series Daleks, so they had to get special permission for that, and thankfully the BBC granted it. This was a really exciting thing to see back then. Nowadays new series Daleks aren't that special, but in 2013 this was a massive achievement. One of the reasons I love this figure is the beautiful chocolate colour the Dalek has. Not only does it give the Dalek a different feel, but it also contrasts beautifully with the black. The Dalek shouldn't really be in this shade, they've most likely done it because the Dalek is in a sort of shadow on the cover, making it seem a bit darker. But really, it's an audio, creative liberties can be taken, and this is one of the best decisions they could have done. I will admit I was a bit hesitant about this Dalek when it was first shown because the dome and spheres are a matte black rather than a glossy black and to my absolute surprise this works wonders. This guy's just a tank and this highlighting feels dominant and commanding. We have a lovely dark wash around the ear lights, the midsection that really brings out that gorgeous gold and the skirt in good moderation. It doesn't feel oversaturated or too bland, it's just perfect. It's also a lot better quality than the other two Daleks. The paint isn't cheap feeling and to my knowledge it doesn't rub off. As for some specific details, the bolts on the base aren't painted once again, as it is for all of these Daleks, but it does include an ID tag. None of the other Daleks have this, so I'm really glad this one does. It adds great depth to the Black Dome. Right, I'm gonna say it, this is my favourite set they've released this year. For me, it's pretty much perfect. A striking Dalek figure and a great Doctor variant. What more could we ask for? And it's actually really nice to have a Dalek from the story it's meant to be from. Yeah, it has its inaccuracies, but to me, it really just uses those inaccuracies to its strength, creating a very stylish set that is bold, bright and beautiful. 
So that's my review of the 7th Doctor and Axis Strike Squad Dalek. If you've enjoyed this review, please do like, comment and subscribe. I've already reviewed the 8th Doctor and Dalek set and the 2 Doctors set, and my next review will be the War Doctor, which wraps up these Dalek sets. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you then. Goodbye.